These are the scariest Minecraft myths that will make your spine shiver. Starting with a structure which has been known to kill players, the Blood Pyramid. Okay guys, so we are here on the seed and is this e the exact one from the screenshot? It should be. Okay, I'm getting my sword out because I don't trust nobody around here. All right, so normally I actually try to avoid um, digging right here, but we're gonna see. Ah! Okay, I avoided it. Thank goodness, that was a close one. Nothing looked odd in the Reddit screenshot either to me, except for the fact the death message. Whoa, Chuckles, but buddy. Okay, Chuckles is my best friend. He would never lead me astray. So this is making me feel better. Did you just press the pressure plate? Do I dare? Guys, there's nothing happening. There's like no TNT linked to this pressure plate. Let's just check this out though. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Wait, okay, there's TNT there, but like nothing happened. Does this make sense to you guys? Okay, this is definitely not the right temple. Nothing happened. Locate structure. Let's see if there's one close by. Well, guys, did you see something red in the chat? Can you please rewind for me and tell me what it said? There was red text, but now it's gone. I feel like I barely teleported anywhere. There's. 50 blocks away is the nearest desert pyramid, but guys, I don't see anything. If things are odd on this seed, maybe the temple's beneath us? I am actually digging straight down on purpose right now. That is right. Wait, that's a different texture. What does this mean? <gasps> How was I right about that? That's crazy. So we're actually in... <gasps> A desert pyramid. Why is the center block missing? Somebody's been here and is trying to kill me. That's, I, I can tell I may die. Please like this video. It will make me feel better. Okay, so definitely don't think desert temples should spawn this deep below the surface or have that big of a drop. I'm gonna use the water bucket in my inventory to safely float down. Hopefully, fingers crossed. What is going on with the TNT down here? This may be a cursed pyramid how far down do we go here okay um this is very odd so very far below the surface the chests so far are normal is there any tnt beneath us not that i can see the lights are flashing but i think i'm slowly dying i i sand was just falling at my face did you see that Okay, let's, let's just dig here. Is there TNT? No? Like, this is definitely not normal. But I didn't die, so that's good. I, I think we should investigate the rest of the temple just a little bit more. Okay, so I believe this is where I came in from, but y'all, where I dug in from is now sealed with sand. All right, well, that really makes me wanna leave. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna get out. We're just gonna, uh, Whoa, what is happening? I only dug down a few blocks. Let's see if this works. <gasps> Whoa, wait, there's infinite sand falling from the sky. It's literally, I dug down a few blocks and I know it was right here. This pyramid is cursed. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh my goodness. I promise you guys, we were not this far down before. There's so many blocks, obviously. I gotta leave this place somehow, but but before we do, let's see if I missed anything else. I actually heard rumors that Mojang has added secret rooms into desert temples. Is this true? I've been told that it's marked by this type of sand in the desert temple. So that means we have to mine right here. <gasps> Guys, I feel like we're running into some actual structure, like a staircase here. Okay, you guys have to stay to the end if you wanna see what happens with this blood temple. Our next myth is the drowned villager, and this was sent in with video evidence from a member of our Discord, proving that there could be an actual drowned villager. All right, so we have to go far into the distance with Batman. We have to craft a boat to get across. I'm curious how far we're going to go in this thing. Okay, getting on a boat. The water looks clear. I don't see any scary water monsters, so that's good, right? So this player gathered all the sugar cane, so let's make sure to do that in case it's important. I feel like you have to get all the details down in these scary myths. It's a sunken ship. It's like the Titanic. 
I've never seen a shipwreck that looked exactly like this either. I won't lie. Okay, this player has no fear. They're just going straight for it with their sugar cane. Okay, we're going down. Did a light just turn on under there? I feel like a light flickered in the ravine. Oh, okay. We just have a drowned zombie. It's a baby. Har harmless, kind of. Why are there lights on in the ravine? Did you guys see that? A light literally turned on. The ravine is like some secret place. I don't think we're supposed to enter. Oh gosh, who turned the lights on down there anyway? Nothing special in this chest that I can see. Oh, we have another chest? What'd that say? <gasps> they're getting locked in the boat, I think. What? Oh, they're gonna drown. They're gonna drown. They're stuck inside of the boat. Oh, panic is setting in. I feel it. My heart is racing. I can't see anything. Please don't die. What is that death message? Okay, so we are here on the seed, but we need to locate a desert village. This doesn't really look like the village from the video, but maybe let's go in this tower and see if we can get a better look. Uh, okay, everything's looking normal here that I can see. I mean, I see sugarcane. No, this is definitely not the village that we saw in the video. Well, let's locate another desert village. I actually have a feeling this could be the correct one from the video. Let me get a good look. Yes, this is where we need to be. <gasps> That's it, right? Oh my gosh, I can even see the boat from here. We just need to go down it. Hello, what? are all these villagers doing? They're all staring. This is creepy. Guys, I don't want to disrupt them. Do you think they saw the drowned villager? <gasps> oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> nothing, nothing to see here. Yeah. Okay, well, if we if we do this just like the video, let's get in the water. This did not end well for B77, so I hope it ends better for us. Now, I do want to mention, I remembered they got all the sugar cane, so I just wanted to do that too, just... I'm, I'm trying to follow exactly what they did in the video. Do you guys notice all the underwater ruins, by the way? I don't think those normally spawn next to a shipwreck, and I don't see any drowned zombies by them, so that's very odd. Something is definitely already off. I'm not nervous at all. That's a lie. I'm very nervous. All right, let's explore. Now, I know the player looked in this chest first. I don't think it was empty, though. This one's totally empty. There's another one, though. Um, is it down here? That one's empty, too. I'm not getting any treasure today, I guess. I think there was one other chest, though, in here. Let's just, let's just check. All of them are empty. What the heck? Let's go in the scary ravine. I am so scared. I'm literally avoiding this. <gasps> there are so many drowned zombies here. Why aren't they by the ruins? Why are they in here? Did you see something over here? Hold on, guys, let's talk before I drown. Guys, there was a literal house in the ravine, but then when I was like, did you see something and turned around, it disappeared. Please confirm in the comments that you saw the same thing as I did. There's also a light down here, but it's not flickering like in the video. Where's the light coming from? We can't find an exact source. All the drowns are gone, so... I don't know. I don't have enough evidence to say what is exactly going on here. Let's go back to the village. There was definitely something up there. Wait, I see the villagers. They're still down. There. <gasps> oh, they all just died right in front of my eyes. I feel like that was my fault somehow. Is that going to happen to me? Now, when I first got into the village, the only villagers I saw were down there. And I still don't see any. Okay, that's pretty odd. I don't see any villagers at all up here. Wait, oh, why are there villagers in the well? Are you doing okay, buddy? <gasps> okay, these seem like they're fine. They're just talking at the surface, but this one's dying. Buddy, here, can I, how do I help you out of this situation? All right, I got out my pickaxe and we should be able to save the villager. Come on, buddy. These villagers are acting really weird. Let me explore the village a little more, but I'm gonna do something interesting. I'm going to leave a sword and an emerald here on the ground. And we're gonna see when I come back if they've picked up either of the items. Why are all the other villagers hiding in their home? That's never a good sign. I've seen this a few other times in Scary Myth videos that when the villagers are all terrified in their house, 
there is often a monster nearby. Let's check back on these and see if they took either one of the items. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. They took the sword, not the emerald. What would the villager use a sword for? Please, please explain this to me. Is it you who took the sword? Who was it? Very odd. I don't have enough evidence to claim that there is a drowned villager though. However, before I say that this is false, let's head back to the shipwreck. Wait, the drowned zombies are here. Maybe they just took a long time to spawn in, but they were not over by the ruins earlier. Okay, um, let's look at the boat. Every Everything looks just as it did before. Um, what about that house we saw over here? <gasps> it's here and it's not despawning. We can actually try to take a look at it for a second before I drown. Oh gosh, I'm gonna drown. Ah! <sighs> I barely made it out of that one. Here's my thought. The drowned villager could be real and that could be his house. Well, the only last thing I know to do is check out the shipwreck. I don't like being in small spaces. I don't wanna drown. I think, what's that noise? What was that noise? I heard feet. Guys, I definitely heard a very weird noise. I had to come get some air. Did you hear those sounds too? All right, let's go back under here. I hear the sound again. Where is it coming from? Hello? Oh my gosh, no! The walls are closing around me, just like what happened in the video we watched. Literally, um, break blocks. Break, break them, use a pickaxe. It's not working. Um, literally go in creative. Things aren't breaking even in creative! Guys, we're gonna die. Please, no! And we have the same death message. Okay, I didn't see the drowned villager, but I actually believe this is real. I saw his house, and I got the exact same death message as in the video. This next myth was sent in by Arnold's who gave us this video. The living eye. Oh my gosh, there are so many endermen on this seed. What's he building? A portal, maybe? Oh, oh, okay. So they built this so they could effectively kill endermen. I mean, if this has to deal with the living eye, I guess we need to see what it drops. Ender pearls. All right, so we got an ender pearl and a flower. And then it's throwing the eye of ender. And it just broke right there. It's levitating. Why is their game crashing? Do you see that loading thing? Literally, their whole game just crashed. This seed did not want us to see what was in the stronghold or whatever the Eye of Ender was leading us to. Okay, we're gonna try it again. I like this, this person didn't give up. And they fell down. What? How was that even possible? Thank goodness they had a golden apple. Goodness, that was a far drop. We're just <gasps> Somebody's literally trying to kill this player. That lava spawned out of nowhere. Their game is crashing again. Stop it. I have never seen something like this. I'm suiting up. So I've logged onto the seed and I already hear Enderman. Ooh, that's weird. I've never seen Enderman just spawn like this. Also, it's in the middle of the day and they're just big chilling in here. So because of that, we're going to try and make Eye of Enders. Let's go ahead and throw one. I believe they threw it in like this direction. What? Oh, okay, it was right here. So it's acting like Stronghold or whatever is just right beneath us? Let's throw it again. Wait, it's going farther away this time. Where did that one come from? Did you see an eye of ender just randomly go from this direction? I did not throw that, guys. It also, I think, had like orange or something on it. It didn't look like a normal eye of ender. When we watched the video, one of the first things the player did actually was kill endermen. So how about let's set it to nighttime and kill them. Let's see if they drop anything funky. Do they give us any ender pearls, a flower like they did in the video? They're literally like stuck in this cave, so that works for me. Oh, okay, we got an ender pearl. I am, oh gosh, oh, he's getting angry. You need to die before you're able to get out of here. Okay, nothing, that one didn't give me anything. He's like stuck and unable to move. I guess it's just like random, whatever they drop. So I got one ender pearl. So let's try throwing an ender pearl. If it's a living eye, it definitely will not like just be enthroned and tossed, right? So maybe it'll act weird. 
That went really far. It's not teleporting me anywhere. That is not how normal ender pearls work, right? Am I wrong? Put it in the comments. Something definitely felt a little off about the way it flew and didn't bring me anywhere. Let's try to go to a stronghold and see if there's anything weird about the eyes of ender there. Okay, it's this way. Alrighty, guys. So we have located the stronghold. Let's see if we can find the portal. There's some Eye of Enders here. They look normal, but how about let's pick these up and see if anything weird happens. And, hmm, they still look normal, but let's go to a more open area and see if we can throw it. Was there something in the doorway? Rewind, everybody, take a look. That could have been the living eye. I don't know. Maybe it was a glitch? I. Please let me know. Okay, well, I'm in a more open area. Let's try to throw this thing. It looks normal to a degree because you have the particles and stuff, but it's not going towards the portal. Aren't these things supposed to direct you to the end portal? What's trying to... <gasps> uh oh, this spawned out of the Eye of Ender. I don't think that's normal. Oh gosh, not again. Oh goodness, there's <gasps> and an Enderman this time. Oh no, I didn't even look you in the eye. Why? Why are you mad at me? Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. I am about to die, ladies and gentlemen. Got him. I don't have any solid proof of the living eye yet. However, we have not killed as many Endermen as the player did in the video. So maybe we need to do that. All right, guys. So I have made a crazy contraption. We built back up. We have this roof here and then dripstone down below. So when I spawn an Enderman, they should immediately die. Okay, let's see if it works. <gasps> Instant death. Let's anger the living eye on this server. Oh, what the heck, guys? I did not spawn this many Endermen. And it's all, <gasps> they're all mad at me. Oh no, please, no. Ah! This is difficult for me. There's like 25,000 of these things. Wait, I feel like one of those had only one eye. What about this one? This one has two? Guys, rewind. Did you see what I saw? I promise you, I saw an Enderman with only one eye. Let's check back to the video. There was one thing that happened towards the end. I believe we need to get coordinates to find exactly where a gravel path was. Wait, I did not click to throw that Ender Pearl. I promise you. All right, so this is about what the terrain looked like in the video. So we should be near the gravel path. Oh yeah, okay, so we have a village right here here so that should mean the gravel is over this way i believe yes all right Ooh, we're gonna stand on it well first i guess i must defeat these mobs literally i'm about to be killed on top of this gravel wow it's sturdy i'm not falling when the player fell in the gravel they were following their eye of ender so i'm gonna throw it and see if it takes us somewhere let me throw this, this direction, cool. Um, throw it again, following it this way. Let's get the eye of Ender one last throw in this direction. Oh my goodness. Uh, that wasn't exactly where the gravel path was, I thought, but we are now underground. There's lava in and these dripstones surrounding me. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I haven't seen a living eye. However, something definitely tried to kill us. I don't know. I'm gonna say this is busted because I didn't see the living eye. However, wait, weird things are happening. Put it in the comments if you want me to try to test this one again. I I, I don't wanna, I'm, I'm leaving this seed. The corrupt world. We have video evidence of this one. Everything is so laggy. Hanging out with cows, which that I approve of. Just putting them all on leads. There's so many cows in one spot. That's also odd. There's just a hole in the ground, too. Want to talk about that? Don't lead them down there. <gasps> what? No, don't lead them down there. Please keep them safe. So the render distance seems super low. Things are loading in really late. Is that a two-headed cow? This is a very weird seed. That is 100% true. There's more just holes in the ground. There's a tree that was sideways. Did you see that? Like growing in the, how is that even possible? There's no soil or anything. I have a bad feeling about, 
No! No, don't do it! Stop! Bring them back. Bring them back! Seriously? Why would you do that? I feel like I saw another hole in the ground. This is so odd. So the cows are gone because this player was mean. Definitely something is up on this seat. Is he gonna live? Are you okay? He just hopped out of the world. Uh, he literally fell out of the world. We are here on the seed, and so far things look <gasps> not normal. Look, there's a hole in the world just like in the player's video. Oh, maybe it was just a render distance glitch or something. I will mention the server was really laggy in the video, so I'm just gonna try to like overload the server. I'm just, I'm being crazy. We're running around in a circle. Woo, woo. Oh, whoa. It just got really laggy and pulled me back. I wanna show you guys again, actually. I wanna make sure I'm not crazy. So I'm running in a circle, and then something weird happened. <gasps> See, I got moved and everything lagged. I do not wanna end up like that player. I actually am going to dig down. What if something is lagging the server under the surface? What if there is a entity we have never seen before in Minecraft and we're gonna just die right here? I don't know. Oh my goodness, it's just, are we dying? Um, okay, that was very strange. This time let's fly around and see if there's anything weird about the void. Okay, we're flying around the void. This is so weird. There's just a glitched block. This should definitely not happen or be here. What? It's like chilling in the void, just on its own under the bedrock. Can I place more blocks down here? Since this block's chilling, let's let's try to place. <gasps> we literally just have dirt, and it's being placed here in the void. What? Let's go back to the surface, get my items, and then do a little more testing. All right, I had a backup of everything in a chest, so we are good. I am suited and ready to go. Chuckles? Who did this to you? Guys, you can get Chuckles from BreeMerch.com and save him from looking this way. This is... Buddy! Okay, yeah, this, this world is definitely corrupt or something. Do the trees look weird to you, or is that just me? It's like a straight line and they were just deleted. Look at that. It's like a perfectly flat line of the trees. Okay, well that's definitely odd. So obviously blocks are glitched in this world. Passive mobs seem to be acting strange as you saw with Chuckles. He's just totally upside down. But what about aggressive mobs? Mobs that always try to kill us. I have a spawn egg here. It is literally running away from me. This is not normal at all. Like the creeper is afraid of me. Okay, well that's definitely strange. I wonder, oh, is there anything weird about this cave? This side of the cave looks totally normal, but what about over here? <gasps> Wait, <gasps> this is totally open to the void. Also, we were just like, in the bedrock area and I did not see this huge opening this much it has to be brand new let's check it out I guess I <gasps> guys I was teleported like this when we first logged onto the seed remember I was running back around the trees and then got teleported we just got saved from the void technically so we've tested a lot already in this world and it is feeling very corrupt and messed up, but I'm gonna go back to the surface here and see what happens if I place some TNT. We haven't tried that yet. And let's light this TNT. I'm in creative, have no fear, I will be okay. What? Okay, so that totally exploded like normal. That was just like a regular TNT explosion. Wait, are you guys seeing all the glitches in the distance? Like over here and over here? Let's go check it out. What? This looks just like what happened in the other guy's video. Okay, we already looked here and this tree was not there. You know what? I'm gonna mine it. There's something weird about this and I just saw the void open up down there. Okay, let's just mine this tree. What's gonna happen? Ah! Oh, it totally just exploded. What are those? 
Why are all the mobs floating upside down? Oh no. Oh, and they're lagging. This is Somebody save these poor baby animals. I have seen enough. This world is definitely corrupt. I'm getting a veterinarian to clean up this seed. <gasps> oh no, I'm going into the void. Okay, this myth is definitely confirmed. Let's head back to the blood pyramid. What's in that secret room? Guys, this is crazy. I've been at this for literal hours now. Look how far down we have gotten. I have revealed stairs. There's definitely something down here. What? I am not sure but something lies beneath us. Literally, look how far, oh my gosh, what's happening? I am suffocating? <gasps> Let's get out of the water. So I literally didn't mind beneath me, but something made me fall down here. The water just flickered red. Did you see that? No, no, if it keeps rising, we are going to drown. Don't let this happen. Why is the water turning red like blood? We're gonna have to go into creative mode. No, guys. It's literally not working. No, I don't want to die like this. Why? I don't even know how this is possible. The water keeps turning red again. Please don't let me die. <gasps> Wait, guys, this is the exact same message the person on Reddit got. I died to the desert pyramid. This is obviously confirmed. And if you guys want to see more crazy myths like this, check out this next video.